So this proclamation for Nietzsche was not so much a, a metaphysical proclamation or speculation about the existence or non-existence of God, but rather it was an attempt to give a diagnosis of contemporary civilization. And I think on Good Friday, there is this moment in which God is dead. He, Nietzsche, kind of composed part of this, or you know, kind of conceived part of this idea of the death of God from the Gospels themselves and from the writings of St. Paul. But there's this hint that, though, again, perhaps not metaphysically, at least psychologically, or phenomenologically, God does die on the cross. And if we were to take that and kind of make it a universal or, or something that lasted more than more than a day, if it became the norm of society, what would happen? And what would happen is we'd become unmoored, as Nietzsche says, that there would be a madness. There's kind of three ideas that are connected in Nietzsche here. You have the death of God, then nihilism, and then the transvaluation of all values or the, the revaluation of all values. And what he's saying here is God dies, then there's madness or, or nihilism, and then there's this, the, the revaluation. And the revaluation is this, who can tell us whether we're moving upwards or downwards or sideways, that there's a, an, orient, an ordering, an orientation factor to belief in God and, and to Christ and the cross. That the, For many, I'll get into this later, but for many and the early church fathers and writers and mystics, the cross is the thing that actually the whole world, the whole universe is structured around. It's the pattern of the universe. And in some ways, you know, some writers even call it the engine of the heavens or the engine of the universe. And it's sort of an, an anchor as well. It's the, the middle point that, that everything revolves around. So if that's dead, then... We kind of are like a ship, you know, that floats in any direction. And who's to say what direction is correct if we've lost this fundamental principle, this fundamental orienting principle, ordering principle? 